Welcome back to a brand new Civ 6. Some might chronicle it as a Civilization 6 deity video, and I already know what most of you are thinking. Civ life for you horny bastard, haven't you already played Theodora once before? You're gonna ruin her, I mean look at her. She looks like she's protecting her virginity for Jesus or something like Anthony Davis was in front of the Bucks. At least until she goes to college and gives up the warm embrace of Jesus for the warm embrace of a different villain of the week like it was JoJo's Part 3. Whatever the case may be, this time I'm actually thinking with the head on top of my shoulders. I have edited probably the most perfect map to get the most perfect Theodora start, as I completely forget that I put snow a little too close to where it was supposed to be. Whatever the case may be, we are going to be playing Theodora Dance of the Aurora start as we are going to be getting the most disgusting holy sites I am talking about. We are going to be getting 5 faith, 50 culture, 30 production with work ethic, 2 gold, 8 science, and 3 pig titty goth girlfriends with daddy issues for every holy site. It's going to be nothing short of sensational as we found the capital city of Istanbul or Constantinople depending on your political affiliations. Whatever the case may be, we are going to get Dance of the Aurora early on and we're going to go, go- Excuse me, I almost choked on my own sputum. We're going to go for the classic TCLR start with two slingers, a warrior, a monument. You will find me dead in front of a noose before you find me building a goddamn scout. We're going to beeline astrology, of course, and we're going to get this ball rolling. I have littered the floor with tribal villages as we meet the city-state of Yerevan. It's almost as if I knew where they were going to be. The reason I did most of that is, of course, because I'm trying to get the Void Singers SS. And unlike thinking Jews are my biggest up, I'm going to use that SS to hopefully... Well, I guess not in this instance. We're gonna get a giant amount of faith, then we're gonna use that faith to make even more faith, and then use it to make science, culture, gold, food, and an offering to Sid Meier himself to get him to stop getting the barbs to completely body me every playthrough. Whatever the case, it is probably best for us to secure Dance of the Aurora. I was going to play this game unedited, but Sid Meier himself sort of forced my hand considering the fact that every game I've played so far, I'd had to reroll 50 times just to get a Theodora Tundra start, and then in that Tundra start, somebody else would secure Dance of the Aurora before me. I'm not lying when I said this is the first, second, third, and fourth times that I've ever seen the AI go Dance of the Aurora. Speaking of which, there's the Void Singers SS. We're immediately going to secure Amani and get her to go blow off the Earth and ease leader to give us access to deep state intelligence we can use to secure Yerevan for ourselves. We are going to continue moving as I don't know what the fuck I was thinking over there. We are going to be getting the holy site right in front of that dear fuck your preserve bitch. We're gonna get ourselves an aqueduct instead of the rice because feeding our populace is cringe. I mean ask the Soviet Union, they're still around today. We're gonna go ahead after that to get the hippodrome. We're gonna go get another civilization over there, my goodness. I am about 13 seconds away from wrecking havoc on my undergarments, this is disgusting. Take in, this is also going to get an extra plus six for just being adjacent to Chandra tiles. This might actually constitute a war crime. The Geneva suggestion is most definitely getting shattered today. Get ourselves a commercial hub over there. We'll get ourselves a beautiful theater square with this city. This city, we're gonna get ourselves another beautiful theater square. Then we'll get another one of the hippodromes and my goodness, look at these yields. Add in plus six to each one and you can see what exactly I'm talking about. With work ethic as well as the theology policy card, the whatever it's called, the scripture, we are going to be able to double those yields and adjacencies. Meaning we're going to be getting 20 product. It's going to be disgusting. It will most definitely constitute some sort of crime against humanity. Whatever the case may be, we're going to have to deal with the barbs that end up spawning in the tundra. Let's hope Babylon isn't in this game. I haven't exactly checked to see who I've added. If Babylon is in this game, then we're probably going to have to bend over and let the barbs have their way with us. Because it's about 3400 BC and I'm not sure that the term Me Too has been invented yet. Well, it seems the term dumbass has been invented because that's exactly what this barbarian is, giving up his fortified position to God knows what do. That was definitely not proper grammar, I apologize. This barb doesn't even know what to do, he just saw his friend's face get bashed in, running around in circles. Gonna go ahead and sell the rest of his family into slavery. There's Dance of the Aurora. 
It's gonna take a turn for it to load into the theater square tiles, so I pre caution you and would recommend prepping a second pair of underwear. Preferably panties at this point, honestly, because- Oh my goodness, there it is. I apologize to everyone who just immediately jizzed their pants. That is just some beautiful yields right there. After this, we're probably gonna go archery because we're gonna need it in case we meet Babylon towards the north. Really any other Civ, this is Deity, of course. Everyone turns into Dwayne the Rock Johnson in WWE on Deity. As I said, the barbs are gonna be out in force today as we get the boost to archery. Uh, I just built the Colosseum there for some reason, but yeah, the barbs are gonna be a little bit of a problem. Of course, if they knew who they were dealing with, the Civ Lifer, they would probably still come at me because barbs are inanimate objects, of course. AI with the game, whose sole purpose is to make me want to triple suicide off the Golden Gate Bridge. Hey, would you look at that? They've sent themselves an offering. We're about T minus 10 turns away from getting swarmed like my capital city was Rome. Great profit wise, there's only one person making some great profit points, which is fantastic for us. I've saved some money so we can now go ahead and get that beautiful plus 7 holy site immediately. This is just stuff of dreams, honestly. What the hell did that give me? What gifts did these villagers bring me? Oh no. Oh god. Oh thank god, I thought it was a scout. It's gonna have to restart this game, burn my computer, but seems my computer can live another day. Just like that, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to finish this game. All the blood has went from my brain down to my second brain down south, and I've set sail on the seven seas full mast. It cannot get any bigger than that. That hand wave was definitely meant for me, my goodness. Yeah, I think this game's pretty much a lost cause at this point, considering the fact that I'm T-minus 15 seconds away from wrecking havoc on my undergarments again. That Yedwiga rule 34 is definitely something, let me just say. There's the beautiful plus three error score holy side. I think with the way my genitalia is erect right now, that should be another two error score. I'm gonna go ahead and get ourselves a settler and hopefully ignore Jadwiga so I can actually focus on the game. My efforts have proved unsuccessful. Here lies Civ Life for April 24th, 2001 to March 22nd, I believe, 2023. Cause of death asphyxiation. Murder weapon, Yedwiga's fat ass. Final words, God sit on me harder mommy, or would it be daddy? I mean, I'm not necessarily sure what the proper nomenclature would be considering she calls herself a king. And the problem with that, of course, is do I have to treat her like a king? Like, is she gonna start pegging me on like, I am getting too deep into the lore. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the Void Singers right now. And just like that, I picked the right secret society. I've never felt more vindicated in my entire life. Yeah, I may have overdone it a little bit with the tribal villages. Oh god, they gave me a scout. Get that piece of- well, actually, free units are free units, I suppose. There's our first settler. We're gonna get our first city about 50 turns late. The good news is we are gonna have a golden age, so we could just pray scouts into existence. Not sure what the logistics behind that necessarily is, but hey, it works, it works. Great profit-wise, there are multiple people going for it. I'm fairly certain if I could just go ahead and get one Holy Site prayer so I can secure the first great profit. I didn't even look at the fact that I was rich as fuck. That's gonna be fantastic for Yedwiga's OnlyFans. Speaking of which, Yedwiga wants to give me- Oh, absolutely. This is the first time she's ever given me money. Usually it is the other way around, but I'll allow it this time. There's our second settler right there, meaning we should have like five cities by turn 50, which is good- well. I don't know where 5 came from, but 3 cities by turn 50 seems good. There's the classical era hue change as we now get the golden borders because we're in a golden age and monumentality is going to absolutely turn my game around. Being able to faith buy anything with void singers is just a cheat code at this point. Go ahead and immediately get started on the old god Abla. You can have every wonder, Jidwiga. You are the wonder. As you can see, my Riz verges on sexual harassment, but what are you gonna do? There's Drip Dro over there, looking as drippy as ever, my goodness. Ah oh, fuck, he's actually right beside us. This actually might turn into a problem as he secured himself Catholicism. Feed the world and synagogue exactly the ones I didn't want. And that probably means I can secure myself the next great religion. I want to give me peace and kai, I have no idea what the fuck that is, but... Hope it isn't a sex toy, because I don't know if I'd go that far with you. 
There's political philosophy, meaning I can now have a bunch of old white dudes just sitting around making the decisions for me. That's always worked well in life. We're gonna go ahead and get ourselves urban planning. We're gonna go charismatic leader. And finally, we're probably gonna go conscript. Well, actually, at this point, God King seems like the better idea. That's beautiful. With the extra governor title, we can now get Rockefeller to somehow concoct an experiment to make it so that whenever we take a population from the city, we don't actually take the population from the city. Where are these people coming from? I have no idea. Definitely some sort of wizardry, but we'll allow it. We'll go Ancestral Hall, and then of course we'll buy ourselves a builder in the next I have two envoys that I really can't send anywhere. Forget where I place the other city-states in. But this settler, we're probably just going to end up putting him up there. And of course, to match the theme of this game, we are just going to settle an awful, god-awful, might I add, city location. Multiple city locations, in fact. Speaking of old white men, there's Pericles, who you'd need to use carbon dating to figure out what century he came from. We'll go for drama and poetry, and just keep going. Oh my goodness, what the hell just happened? Was that a flood? It's not a war with anybody, it seems like the great Shangxi flood that killed 15 million Chinese civilians, or... Well, I guess it's every Chinese flood in history, just went through Brazil for some reason. Doesn't matter though, we have secured ourselves Confucius, meaning we can found ourselves a religion. Taoism's actual- Oh, fuck you, you piece of shit, I wanted choral music, who founded Taoism. Brazil, you absolute son of a gun, I am going to murder your family. Wonder what religion we should pick. I have fermented world peace by picking the basest and objectively greatest religion everyone can get behind. In Uyghur's thighs, I picked the little snake right there because that looks like my penis after five seconds with her. I'm gonna have the Gatorade symbol beside my name after about 30 seconds in the same room as her, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and go for World Church because we are going for a cult. Well, honestly, going for mosques is probably... Gurdurwas give you a ju... You know what? We're gonna go for the Wah. Fuck it. The more faith we have, the more we can make use of Void Singers. Let's go ahead and get the Citrus Plantation and trade away our luxurious rights to foreign powers. And then we'll trade our Diplo Favor over to Pericles, and just like that, we could probably get ourselves another Settler. Well, this seems to be a little bit of a predicament. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and chop out the Ancestral Hall and then begin hard building Settlers. Gonna have to send our shooters to go deal with the ops, but holy sight here, I think the best situation to place this. Oh, they're all pretty god-awful situations now that I think about it. If I buy that, oh, that plus six is just me. Oh my goodness, that plus seven has just completely soiled me. We'll go ahead and trade the rest of our Diplo favor, and then... I don't know if that's enough to buy the holy sight. It is enough to buy the holy sight. That plus seven's gonna be disgusting. Uh, next up, we're probably just gonna give surplus logistics to get our capital city to grow as quickly as possible. I swear to god, if this guy takes my settler, I'm going to lose it. Go get some crack for our population, a healthy part of any balanced breakfast. Uh, we did go work ethic, right? I completely forgot if we did. Okay, thank god, meaning Constantinople right now is making... 8 production from the holy side, and it's about to skyrocket to 16 by the time I'm done with them. There's a significant blizzard over there. Let's go ahead and finish off this scout who's unfortunately already made it to the Barb encampment. Meaning we're about T-minus five turns away from getting five line infantry to our capitals. I have four envoys and nobody to share my love to. I'm gonna go ahead and go scripture and as you can see right now in the city of Constantinople we are now making 16 production from holy sites. We are making 16 culture from holy sites. We are making 16 faith from holy sites. We are absolutely destroying the game right now. Well, it's deity. It seems my yields haven't really caught up to everybody just yet. Whatever the case may be, this is an absolutely disgusting strategy. I would highly recommend anyone who doesn't want to get arrested avoid this, because you will get arrested if you try this strategy. All right, it seems the barb camp has been completely wiped out by a blizzard, unless the scout was just seizuring from my disgusting amount of yields, or potentially the Yadwiga Fang thick that has spawned throughout my empire. Whatever the case may be, either way, we have dealt with the barb threat, it seems. Uh, which is fantastic. I don't like dealing with barbs. Let's go ahead and settle the next city of Trebizond. Hope I pronounced that correctly, knowing damn well I didn't. We'll go ahead and secure that, just so we can give our people some food so they don't revolt. And this builder's just gonna go ahead and build some pastures and shit. You might be asking yourself, Civ Lifer, you fucking cheater, how the hell are you ma- How the hell am I making eight 
tourism per turn. I'm genuinely confused, actually. Wait, I'm genuinely... How the hell am I making eight... Am I actually cheating this game without realizing it? I genuinely have no idea how I'm making eight tourism per turn. I haven't even built a world wonder. I'm genuinely confused at this point. Um, oh, goodness. I'm, this guy is going to completely tear me a new one, isn't he? Let's go ahead and get that archer in there. We're going to go ahead and get some production in this city. Completely forgot what my train of thought was. Just the eight tourism per turn completely spooked me out of nowhere. Pericles is sending me gifts. I guess I found myself a sugar daddy. Recorded history is going to be completely useless considering the fact that I got to get the clickbait going and there's no room for any sort of uh, science and technological advancements, as one might say. Here at Pingala, we're probably going to go to Nyko Media. Seems I've walked into the wrong hood yet again, which is quite unfortunate. Good thing is, this archer should be more than enough to deal with these fuckers. Got the old god obelisk over there, and uh, this scout is going to have to fortify for a little bit. They are deciding to spread Taoism to my empire. Just wait till I get finished on this temple and I send the debater apostles against you. I do have Yerevan so I can ensure that every every apostle is going to get the master debater promotion, which is going to be fantastic for me. Speaking of fantastic, let's go ahead and get our seventh city by turn 70. Would you look at that? Edwiga wants to be my friend. Absolutely. fucking lootly. Do the same thing with Pericles because he's sort of bankrolling my entire operation. The reason I'm making a large amount of gold per turn is because... Because I have a monopoly on a luxury resource, I'm not really sure which one. Uh, we'll just go ahead and faith buy, well, wait to faith buy an apostle. Then use this time to hopefully get ourselves a hippodrome. That's probably where I'm making the eight tourism from. I have some sort of luxurious resource that the AI wants to get their grubby mittens on. Well, I'm not gonna let them. Now, this city doesn't exactly have the best campus in the world, but plus three is better than nothing. We'll go ahead and settle the next city, the city of Sinop. That's huge. We'll lock in the plus three holy site and get started on the obelisk. There's a hippodrome giving me a large amount of error score, hopefully allowing us to avoid the Dark Age soon. Whatever the case may be, I think it's time to probably not faith by an apostle because I don't have the faith for it yet. Um... Honestly, probably just getting the Oracle seems like a wonderful idea. And we'll get the Shrine in the city of Thessalonica. Here in Trebinazide, we can get that beautiful plus six campus. Tribal Village seems to have evaded Brazil's eye. Well, it probably is just the mass amount of barbarians protecting it, like it was the last cheeseburger on Earth. They were like Tammy from 500 Pound Sister or something. They have begun moving their forces. My life is complete. All right, it seems somebody's already secured that wonder. Let's try to get the Hanging Gardens in T minus three turns, which is fantastic. Connoisseur with Pingala, of course, and I think we're actually just going to go for feudalism to get serfdom. I still have six envoys. Nobody wants me to spread my love, which is a little unfortunate. Let's go ahead and chop out the obelisk and finish off the holy site. There's the medieval era. It's a little unfortunate that my people have decided my rule hasn't exactly been up to par, but at the very least, we should be able to keep most of our cities. Exodus is going to be disgusting, especially if I go to war with Brazil, because we still have Babylon's leader ability, of course. Over here now, I think we're probably just going to get the shrine, and in Constantinople, I'd love to buy another apostle, except I'll probably just end up buying a few missionaries. There we go, 10 combat religious strength, there's only one possible answer, and then this could just be melee or something. Let's see if we win, that's beautiful. Nobody will be able to withstand Jadwiga's thighs, come here bitch. And then this missionary is probably going to go ahead and convert the rest of my empire. There's a cataclysmic eruption that's completely wiped out multiple people's livings in one go, that's, that's quite unfortunate, honestly. Almost as unfortunate as the damage I've done to that motherfucker, holy shit. Then we'll go ahead and do that, and Jadwiga's thighs is just completely spread to my entire empire with one go, it's disgusting. We'll get the temple here in Thessalonica, and probably just buy a builder in that city when we can. Seems like these fuckers want more smoke, I'll give you all the smoke. Go ahead and probably faith by another apostle in the next turn to go deal with those fuckers. After civil service, I think the next best thing is probably to go ahead and get another uh, governor title just so we can get the chorus from Void Singers. Meaning essentially all my faith's gonna turn into culture and science and just like that, it's big brain time. Oh my goodness, I've never seen a more disgusting one shot in my life. Good lord, that has to be some sort of war crime. Uh, over here, we're probably just going to, uh, I can't evangelize, believe. Well, there goes my plans. 
Let's go ahead and completely destroy the religious of Taoism. Yeah, I don't know what the hell this guy is doing, as if he isn't going to get completely eliminated in one go, my goodness. We're gonna move here and begin spreading the city of Sao Paulo, give them the proper religion of Yudwiga's thighs. Speaking of which, we're at 26 and 84, you guys are about to see an absolute massacre. Oh my goodness, where the hell did that jump come from? Holy shit! I don't know about you guys, but that is definitely a moist amount of culture and science. Gonna go ahead and spread one last time, and then we'll delete that missionary in the next turn. Good news is, the more I spread my religion, the more error score I get, and I'm going to probably get one of the most disgusting heroic ages you have ever seen. I do recommend averting your eyes if you're under the age of 18. If you can't go to Pornhub.com, this video probably isn't for you, as we now get Reformed Church. With Theocracy, my apostles are gonna be nothing short of just ass blasters, ball busters, Wars of Religions too, and that's actually really good, except I think simultaneism is probably going to be the best. We can go to Republican Legacy and Scripture instead of Colonization. Make it 161 faith per turn. This, well, I might have the CIA bust down my door any minute now as we convert Rio de Janeiro to Yudwiga's thighs. There is a significant blizzard. It doesn't seem to have damaged anything, though. It seems like a normal night in Canada during the winter, after all. In this situation, I would love to build a world wonder, I absolutely would, but I think it's probably high time we get ourselves some food in this city. Over here, we'll probably give ourselves another builder and just buy the shrine, the temple, and then faith by the Watt for even more science per turn, and we still don't have another city-state we can spread our love to. There's Nicopolis, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves the greatest Petra of all time, so great, as a wise man would say. And uh, with this city, we're probably just, oh yeah, we get this one too. We get another heroic age. Holy crap. Yeah, this game's probably over. This holy site's gonna take multiple generations. It'll probably be the modern day with smartphones before we get finished with that, but it's going to make our city very strong once smartphones become a thing. Seems the barbs have gotten more technologically advanced since the last time I saw them. Let's hope I can go one-on-one -on -one with the archer. Here in Constantinople, I'm going to go ahead and get myself a workshop because I don't have nearly enough production to win the game. And then here comes Yudwiga's army. My goodness, I'm probably going to have to spam a couple of these apostles out. Yeah, it's not looking too good for her. Not going to be able to step up with these motherfuckers. Seems my tactics have backfired a little bit. Let's hope that crossbowman doesn't move and one-shot me. Use these two to evangelize beliefs. We're going to go for... I do think scripture as well as world church is going to be fantastic. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and give these guys a debater promotion and then completely wreck havoc on Yudwiga. For Yudwiga's army, I'm going to go wreck havoc on Yudwiga. Gonna build the Mott St. Michelle because with Martyr and all the potential relics we can get, this is gonna be disgusting. Now let's go ahead and completely eliminate Yudwiga's religion from Earth. And that right there, the one shots are just unreal, to be quite frank with you. I can't even speak, my goodness. Uh, we have done very well spreading our religion throughout the entire world. In fact, if I wanted a religious victory, I could probably easily get one now that I think about it. Yeah, I don't know what the hell she thought she was doing over here. She is going to almost lose two missionaries. The good thing is, I'm going to be hitting it from the back soon, and I'm talking about the religious units this time. It seems the barbs have decided to launch their next attack. This right here might actually be the end of me now that I think about it. Going to have to be a little careful here. We'll hard build ourselves an archer. We finished off the holy site in this city at the very least. Got ourselves a nice diamond mine over there, and this apostle's about to go one-on-one -on -one with Jesus by the time I completely eliminate him. Just like that, it was a group effort, but we finally took care of that man-at-arms. The power of friendship will pull you through in any situation. Unless, of course, you're both going through the same girl. I have seen friendships become murdered because of that. Seems they have mastered the art of war elephants in the middle of Siberia. Well, someone else is gonna have to stop stalling with that one. I am not dealing with that bullshit. And there is the Renaissance Era Heroic Age. I still have eight envoys I haven't been able to share my love to. Monumentality, Exodus of the Evangelists, and Reform the Coinage seems like the best strategy. You are going to run away because there is no shout we'll be able to go one-on-one -on -one against that war elephant. There's Opera and Ballet, as if that's really gonna do us any help against these barbarian voiciens or whatever they're called. 
I think here we're probably going to get our first spy and begin getting quarries and mines as, yeah, we might as well just put 10 envoys into the caravan. This dude's about to get the thrashing of a lifetime, goodness me. Not only that, but we'll be able to convert Jadwiga to her religion soon enough. There's Mont Saint, Saint Michel, which means we do have the martyr promotion, so suicide is most definitely going to be prevalent in our strategy today. Oh, we have already converted one of her cities, let's go ahead and convert another. Jadwiga, by the time I'm finished, she'll be the greatest cult leader alive. I think I'm probably going to end off the video there. If you guys want me to continue, let me know down below in the comments, but this game is just a waste of time at this point. I'm making 2,900 faith per turn. Second place is making, well, about two-thirds of the faith I am, and complete, considering the fact I've completely massacred her religion in favor of, well, her own religion she can lead. Uh, it's for your own good, trust me. I would say that there is absolutely zero shot we lose this game. If we go for a culture victory, we could win. I mean, Edwig is number one in science, and we're almost making as much science as her, so there goes Void Singers for you. But as always, if you do enjoy, leave a like and subscribe to not miss out on future content. And tomorrow we'll come back with a disaster save. Some guy named, I think it was uh, Unspoken Jizz with a J, just d delivered me probably the... Well, you're going to have to see it for yourself to believe it. In any case, I'll see you all next time. Peace.